Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Okay. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old, and therefore I am an independent, fully functional human being. And the fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own, frankly, is absurd. Compared with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across the ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, total safe city on my own, like a human being. Since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter Samantha. I don't know why all the televisions are on. Seems like that's a weird coincidence. Open the drawer. Oh, cassette. Shut up! Um, what the fuck? Hearts. Hearts. Grab cartridges. Journey of Crystal. Let's see what she has. Super Spitfire. What the fuck? <laughs> what are these games? Didn't she have Street Fighter? What's this? Fireball. Hold punch. Lightning kick. Kick, kick, kick. Yeah, so those are Street Fighter reference once again, if you didn't realize that. Casing presents Juliana Hatfield doing Sonic Boom. Isn't Sonic Boom actually a real festival that existed? Or does it still exist? If uh, anybody of you who lives in the US who are watching this, uh, let me know. <sighs> well, let's see what you got in here, Samantha. I'm checking out the closet. The board game. What's your number? Would you introduce me to your friends? Who like sports? Are you busy Friday? Why? <laughs> Grab book. She's hidden a holy bible here. What's that? Grab a collar. Mitten. Where's the cat, man? I want to see the cat. Maybe that will jump out and give us a fucking jump scare of doom. They were Mitten. Aww. Read clipping. I think uh, the creative writing track could be perfect for you. Nah. Nah. Not for me, at least. So, let's see. Open Raw. Salmon Magazine. Groove. Uh, exclusive Aids in Africa. Sold assignment at the Vedder Visu. What's this? Grab Steggy? Steggy? Of course it's Steggy. 
It's steady. <laughs> Nothing under the pillow. More groom magazines. Something under the bed, maybe? We be sure. The brother. You should want to buy a mortal cycle. Mortal cycle. Here we go. Read the slip. Samantha Greenbrier, year 11. Teacher Fletcher. Grade mi C minus. No, it's not a challenging excitement. Assignment. Metal plague for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean that just add them underneath. <laughs> Acceptable leveling on edges. Okay. Is there something else down there? Oh, it doesn't seem like that. Bum bottom 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 Mr. Sato was given an option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt at the jump locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Mr. Desato chose suspension. Her father was called there, but no answer and no an from the no answering machine. They have an answering machine. What the fuck are you talking about? Mr. Desato must return this form tomorrow. Signed by Desato. Lonnie. Oh, that's just fucking beer on a t-shirt, man. Are you really kidding me? Hey, Sam, you want to see Pop Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend, and Todd won't shut up about it. Uh, so either it's a good one, or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is suspended, uh, supposed to kick dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? Accordingly, accordingly to Todd, it's pretty hardcore, man. Uh, I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd uh, wants to see it again. 7.15, okay, don't barf. Ha ha ha, alright. See you then, Barf. Pulp Fiction. No, I actually want to see that movie. I love that movie. Fucking amazing, man. Let's see here. It wouldn't do, it, surprise me if we, like, uh, find... Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited, and the moment was gone. I'm getting the feeling that she's kind of falling. The thing I was going to say right before I looked at the tub was like, uh, maybe we'll look in the bathroom and there will be like blood everywhere. Uh, lucky for us, this is actually not blood. It's hair dye. So, there was nothing in here, I guess. Nail polish. Nailed it. Green blue. Lols. Lols. So let's see here. I haven't been in here. Why is it lit in there? <laughs> I'm a 
They always defeat me now. Let's see here, the Holy Bible. They have fucking Bibles everywhere, man. Not that that's something... I'm not saying that. Uh, let's see here. Another postcard from us. Uh, uh, I'm sad about the shunnel. She loves shunnels, apparently. I don't know what a shunnel is. Close, 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 close. Can't fucking close the drawer. Uh, oh, come on, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? Oh, mittens! Fucking hell. I'm getting goosebumps again. Boobs gumps. Boobs bumps. Bump the bumps. Boobs bumps. Boobs bumps. Boobs bumps. bumps. The bathroom in the bathroom. Ugh. Afternoon honeymoon. Personally, spiritually, sexually. This is not something that you want to find about your parents. Let not, at least not me. Uh huh. Creepy sounds again. Small fucking creepy sounds. Can I open the. Uh, no. Is there something in the trash can? No. No, 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 no. Let's see here. This was actually littered. Oh look, a ghost game. Ghost Mansion. Oh look, a ghost game. No shit, Sherlock. Grab book. Weather color technique. Nope. Nothing up here, nothing up here. Why was it lit in here then? Is there something behind there? We what? Fuck no! Really? Got a message somewhere. I'm sorry for that. Ghost Hunter Sam and Lonnie's secret house investigation. Hidden compartment found. Three. Library upstairs for a year. So there, we, we missed something. Right there. And in the library. Oh. Mom and Dad's room. My room. There's one there, one there, and one there. Evidence of the supernatural discovered soon. <laughs> Search continues. Oh, they're marked now. That's good. Whew! This is getting spooky. I, I, I'm really afraid to. Oh! Oh! Now we're here. Was it me who <laughs> threw everything on the floor? Yeah, maybe it was. Dad's office. Uh, I guess it's over here then. Yep. Read story. Private, do not read. Fuck that, man. I'm reading it. Allegra and her scouting parties peered down verily through the dense coupling. Oh! Yeah, uh, never mind. I think we actually missed the story upstairs in her room. 
which I read the, the first playthrough, but no, well, I didn't play through the game, but anyhow, Electro and her scouting party peer down warily through the dense canopy of the rustling leaves from the perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly of the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed. Man, it, f it sounded like someone was running towards me. Ha ah, ha ha, I'm getting scared all the time. Uh, where were we? Uh, it was a strange sight indeed. Such luscious uh, yuxtaposed with frigid ice formations. Allegro left forward without hes hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Greenbrier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. We have to hurry, Allegro's party, f Allegro party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegro landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian and on her pedestal. Reaching for the lever, that would drop the first mate with a rat blow. She shouted no and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell toward the water and splashed down in the most eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, Something began to emerge, a head of a dark brown hair, just like the first mate's, then the shoulders, shoulders and sleeves of his coat, soaking wet, as his figure stood there, and the water poured down Allegra that f saw that the first mate had changed. It was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair, and the hands of a body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes, still in the, f the first mate, he, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? The Amazonian queen said, she's one of us, she's one of us now. She's ours. Electra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt and crew readied their swords. Allegra gl glared into Queen Eyes and said, That's the love of my life, and you can't have her. It feels like Sam maybe is playing for the other team. What? Right, I'm stop at the turning pass number. Five. Oh. I feel like this is, uh, yeah, half of Sam's uh, locker combination. That's what I thought. Uh, do we have? Yeah, there's actually something in the library that we missed. The little library, the little library. Let's see. That one. The Misfits. At Tot's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. <laughs> <laughs>